Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's such a wrong greeting. It might not be on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a skincare routine for you. I am out of Toronto. I decided I'm gonna take advantage of that and film something that's not a lookbook. I just wanna show you guys how I take care of my skin when I travel. It's very dehydrating to travel. We all know this, we all know this. Um, I'm just gonna start by saying that I already washed my face. This is something that I do in the shower. So I usually don't use this face wash, but like the rest thing I have a travel size version of. And it's the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. And I think it's from the hydrating line, but honestly, it's, it's not that. And to be honest, I still prefer my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser, but I don't have a travel size version of that. That's the next best thing. It's better than bar soap. So. I'm gonna pour some water over my face, and then I'm going to tone, okay? Sometimes I wait for my skin to calm down, just a little damp, and then I start putting everything. But I think I'm just gonna, because I need to trap all the moisture I can and stop transepidermal water loss today, I'm just gonna jump right in, okay? Favorite toner in the entire world is the Kiehl's, this is not sponsored, I swear. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner, and I love this toner so much. This is 40 ml which is a pretty good size. It has like a milky type of texture. It has squalene and a whole bunch of other stuff that's really hydrating. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit for it to sink in. And I usually put two layers. I use my fingers because I just feel like cotton pads just drag on my skin. So the next thing I'm gonna put on my face to help support hydration is the amino acid plus B5 from The Ordinary. And this is 30 ml, so it's pretty good for you to travel with. But I'll just put like half of this over my face before all the water is gone. I just got it in my eye. I put this everywhere. So after that, I jump into my moisturizer and I use the Innisfree Olive, olive Oil line, um, their moisturizer from that line, but I don't have the full packaging with me. I don't believe they have a travel size version in Toronto yet. So I just put it in a travel size container and just scoop out of that. I prefer it to the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer just because it's way more hydrating and I have really, 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 really dry skin. We need a big amount. So I have like a ton of that over here. The Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 from The Ordinary. This is 60 ml. Um, the ordinary products are just so travel size. I put a little bit of that and I'm gonna put it on my face before everything dries up. <laughs> you don't want a moisturizer that absorbs way too fast if you're gonna be traveling because you need something that takes a long time to absorb into your skin before like drying out. I don't know if that made any sense to be honest. I'm not really a skincare specialist, so. We are on the last product and I don't use any exfoliators when I travel just because I feel like it's like harsh. Um, especially if you're in the plane and like you're direct, you have contact with the sun through the window, like that's not, we're not gonna do that. Don't use exfoliators for short trips. And um, I carry masks with me, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. What I have here is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary. Again, this is 30 ml, very travel size friendly. I usually put like 10 drops, 10 to 11 drops. Put that together and I just lightly tap all over my face. And then we'll go down to our neck. Um, at some point I wasn't doing anything for my skin. I had to kind of switch it up and try almond oil and olive oil and olive oils. But ever since I started using like the amino acids and like my mandelic acid when I'm back in Toronto, it's just sort of been great for my skin. And I have really dry skin, so this is like a completely normal amount to put on. In terms of like lip balm, stuff like that, I just carry the same 
that little bumps with me it doesn't really bother me once I like, find something that is good for my lips I just sort of stick to it I have the Innisfree Canola Honey Lip Balm which I use just because it's always in my Kiehl's Ziploc anyway so if I travel it's just gonna be there moving on to mask when you are traveling you definitely should take masks with you if you have dry skin because it's just so drying on the plane I used up my sheet masks those are the best I have this turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask this is not necessarily for travel um, but it does help improve how your skin looks overall. So you could also try a sleeping mask. Um, I have not had any luck with sleeping masks yet, but I have recently tried the coconut moisturizing sleeping mask from Innisfree. Um, doesn't work if you're going to any place that has winter, uh, but otherwise it's pretty good. That is the end of my skincare routine. I am going to finish packing and get out of here. Okay, this is pretty much how I take care of my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this helps you in any way, shape, or form. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I will let you know if you need to know what products any of these things are, how much I got it for, if I got it in a set. A lot of travel size things that I have that are not from the ordinary are purchased from a travel set by Kiehl's or by Innisfree or by Elf, you know, that type of thing. So let me know in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye.